So I am working now on a project. It's Monday, Monday the twenty third of January. Yeah, I guess pointing three fingers to me. So I'm very bad at dates, certainly in this series of partita recordings. And you know, I'm now working on a project in Leuven. I've been telling you about this in one of the previous vlogs and I certainly will share with you some details about that project because it's really an amazing project. I'm part of that since a few years now and that's one of my main occupations of myself and also of the small business that I have. So Authentic Sound is a kind of niche business within that small business that I have. So as a lot of office work. I'm just working on that project as well and she's doing that right now as we speak but what I wanted to share with you today it's Monday so yesterday today the vlog is on the oh no she's working on the book she's constantly correcting me in a good way you know but now it's enough I'm talking to the people there on authentic sound so otherwise you must make your own channel with your own vlog that would be a good idea actually a cooking YouTube channel with the two kids we have. Perfect age. Tim Schmoyer would say, you know, we're following a video course now with Tim, Sch Tim Schmoyer, videocreators.com. Amazing guy. He would say, great idea. Anyway, so the vlog today is really synced with the date. So it's Monday and it's Monday when the vlog is released. So what I wanted to say to you is that yesterday I had a live session, so a recording session with which was really fun i checked the chat afterwards you know during these recordings i'm not looking at the chat because it would get me out of my focus and out of my 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 concentration bubble so to speak and so i was really happy to see that you had a very good time in the chat so really long answers and comments so that's nice i actually got a message from youtube afterwards that if i noticed if i was aware of the fact that the comments on my youtube channel have had peaked in a way they had never before so that's 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 really great i have i'm now also uploading the files on to vegas sony vegas so to make the video for tomorrow session number four and i don't know what to think about yesterday's session it was great in the beginning, as always, I think I felt a little bit, not nervous, but just to come into the zone, you know, it takes, it takes a while. Forget about the microphones, forget even about you as an audience, if you witness that live. I'm aware of your presence. It, it, it focuses me in a very special, on a very special, in a very special way. But yesterday I was prepared better than I was the previous session because sometimes life just hits you know and the previous session um, the days before I hadn't found that much time to play the clavichord but I am prepared so I know it will work so it did work yesterday I was prepared and yet when I listen to the recording I feel that it's almost there and in some ways, I have to leave this. I have to give it a little bit of rest because it's too soon to tell. Sometimes you listen, I listen to recording next day and I say, well, it's, it's okay, it's perfect. And certainly when we made the YouTube videos, there is more of a kind of um, relativity. You know, I can make, and I will make, for instance, the recordings I've made of the World Temperate Clavier, the Well Tempered Keyboard, uh, certainly the first part, I will do it again. I still think there are beautiful recordings there, but I really would like to do it again from number one to number 24 and then the second book, like we do, did with the partitas. And that's of course all possible. And also yesterday at the end of the session, I had something in mind, something of the Capriccio where it went very well and constantly new things, new ideas, new insights in this massive complicated pieces. Sometimes that some of the partita parts are not so complicated, but overall, it's, it's it's happened suddenly there is just another room that's opening that i say oh my god i never have seen that before and then to incorporate all of that into the recording session that's something that really 
is nothing that you can plan for and that's my topic of today's vlog you never know when you hit the thing you know when you hit the nail when you when you and for recording like this it needs to be at my best and it will be at my best I can promise you and I have I promised myself I have to do it um, it's sometimes scary just to wait if it quote unquote will happen if you want it to happen it will not happen but if you are not working for it to happen it won't work either it's not like feeling zen you know just leave it and it will come it will never come there is a kind of tension necessary to bring that tension in the music but the tension should not um, be and at the wrong place certainly not at your body your body can have a little bit of tension but at the right place it's on your fingertips not in your throat or in your neck you know and if you're a musician you exactly know what i'm talking about so the music sometimes feels very exciting very with me as a musician just on top of that as if you and it sounds weird maybe but if you just go out of your body you just witness it from above and that feeling was maybe in the capriccio there but if i listen today i still think the effect of the capriccio being not played too fast i know many and in fact somebody someone reacted in the live stream that at first um he, he thought it was too slow because he knew the recordings of leonard glenn gold and other i mean important recordings and but after a while he understood the effect and it really touched him and that's i think that it touches it's a long piece then but it works i think but it just i have to give it time if it really if i really nailed it down because that's what needed to be i think the effect again was great also in the Sarabonde, there were moments I was listening at the tape recorder when I was doing some work at the laptop on the computer in the kitchen, so just to check the process of over putting it on on on, on uh, my computer, so I digitize it. And there were moments in the Sarabonde that you know you stop working and there's just something magical happens. And I just wonder if then the whole piece is that it's just too soon. But yesterday was a special session. I was really excited afterwards. And maybe in a week or two when I listen to it, or a week of a month, I don't know. I've just record first and listen later. Sometimes I will do some check, checking if, if things are, are okay. Uh, the audio sound and, and if we don't hear some cars passing by run well while we're recording, I don't think so. We have quite some experience, but again, this must be really top hi-fi quality as well so i have to double check sometimes but overall i will do the editing in one big piece afterwards and if i'm not really satisfied 100 percent, i'll go and do it again um, that's the great thing of recording here at home that would be the great thing if we would have the recording studio which is not decided on we're still working with the people who are involved to uh, make the deal around because it's apparently not so simple to uh, to step forward I should I think it shouldn't be that difficult but that's something we have to solve very soon and I will update you on that it's it's not ready yet but that's the great thing of recording at home my clive record will stay here if I have a concert I don't think in January or February I have something to play on clive record but if that would happen I would ask you to spot fliege to uh, to have his instrument because this instrument needs to stay here the microphone stay in position the tape recorder are in, is in position the, even the cables here will remain the position so that left and right are not mixed and i will recording as long as i feel the need and the, and the necessity to record it and again the recording session of yesterday which will be on youtube tomorrow morning you can check it out might be the greatest one i've ever done that's something it's why way too close to me and i'm just reflecting on my body experience but because that's it if i feel the tension here in my neck a little bit too far if i'm just bending too much to the sound sometimes that's great because i'm what i'm actually doing is looking at my fingertips because the contact 
between the fingertips and the keyboard that's where the magic happens that's where the tension has to be and then the instrument sounds directly much better opener thicker in sound and, and thinner at the same time so it's it's really but you cannot plan for it you can only prepare for it and sometimes it just hits and sometimes not but tonight monday new session and we will not do the second partita again that's over i have to leave it now we will do the third partita a minor and i'm looking forward to recording that and together with you of course great that was the vlog of today something i wanted to share with you there's a lot more i want to share um i thought of this daily vlog not as a daily vlog but a vlog from time to time every one or two or three days but while doing that there's so much stuff to talk about with you that probably it will be a daily vlog maybe not on sunday i have to check on that thanks for watching thanks for subscribing following this project really exciting to do that and to do it together with you thanks again and see you next time bye